breakfast repeat today. <laughs> Sorry. I, you know, I have like three breakfast options in my house just because I don't want to get too much and then it all go bad or whatever. So I first say to myself, do I want warm or cold breakfast? I did not want cold breakfast, so warm it is. And then my two warm options are oatmeal or this guy. And I just really wanted this one again because it's so savory. Anyway, we know this is seven points, the Jimmy Dean chicken sausage and egg white and cheese croissant my normal coffee three tablespoons of the coffee mate sugar-free italian sweet cream creamer and then very little unsweetened vanilla almond milk i mean it was like that much because the cup the cup was almost full and then a banana i am also on my second thing of water woo hoo okie dokie folks Lunch time. It's 2.15. Oh, and I'm very, very hungry and I want something fast and not a sandwich. So, we have the Trader Joe's, and I saved the boxes for you. Trader Joe's, Doe's. <laughs> Trader Joe's Reduced Guilt Mac and Cheese. This is eight points. Then I forgot that I had this little guy in my freezer. I had one left. Awesome. The Trader Joe's Turkey Corn Dogs, five smart points for one. So this is 13, right? Yes, 13 smart points for lunch. And then I have a bowl of red grapefruit, strawberries, pineapples, and grapes. Um, what else was I going to tell you? I remember what I was going to tell you. Trader Joe's does not know me. I mean, not that anybody has said that, oh, you're sponsored, but, and I don't know if I even should be concerned about that, but I know like the beauty people that I watch are always so concerned about telling people that they're not sponsored, so. It just happens to be a Trader Josie day, and tonight might be Trader Josie as well, because I think I might have my shrimp fried rice, and you know that's, my veggie fried rice is from there, and the wontons are from there. I'm also thinking about having that pizza again because, girl, that pizza was on point. So good. So good. <laughs> um, I don't know if Chad is home for dinner tonight or not. It doesn't really matter. But those are the two things that are, like, sounding good to me. So, probably either going to have shrimp fried rice or the pizza. I know that you want me to do a cook with me, which is so strange to me because I am so far from a cook. You saw I microwaved my lunch. <laughs> um, but I know that you want me to do a cook with me for the shrimp fried rice. I won't be doing it tonight because I don't have a tripod yet. Like I don't have anything to put my phone on to show you what I'm doing down below. So I can't do that until I get some sort of situation finagled to show you. Friday's going good so far. I'm on my third thing of water. It's back there. Um, usually I have my Diet Dr. Pepper. Oh, Jesse Staples. Weight Watchers with Jesse. She's tagging me to do a stop drop and chug on Instagram. I'll have to do it because I'm really terrible at those. <laughs> ignored, like, I'll, not ignored, but I just forget about them. I don't know. Anyway, Friday's going pretty good. It's 2.20. I'm going to have my lunch. Then I'm going to work more. I'm almost done-ish, so I shouldn't have to work later or anything, which is awesome. And today I don't have to work out. Yes. Man, I love not having to work out. Oh, I hate working out. Don't you hate working out? Like, I'm just not the person that's like, yeah, let's go work out, man. No. 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 If I can resolve it any other way, <laughs> I'll do it. But, oh my gosh, in one of my meetings today, we had to share, just as like a fun little team building thing, we had to share our most embarrassing song on our iPhone or iPod or whatever. Oh my gosh, I was looking through mine thinking... I don't have anything embarrassing on here because I don't have a ton of music on my phone 
because I'm not really sure. Oh, it's a, it's like fairly new. I think I got it in January. I don't know. So I haven't like spent the time to transfer tons of music to my phone. Um, but anyway, when it got, to, I found, I was searching and searching and I found it. And do you want to know what the most embarrassing song on my phone is? Trace Adkins, Honky Tonk, Badonk Donk. I was laughing so hard. And the only reason why it's on my phone is because, um, you know, I do spinning and I used to do it. I used to go to classes when I lived in Florida and I'm really good friends with my spin instructor from there. So she would send me copies of the playlists that she made up and I would create them on my phone so that I could use them when I'm spinning here. So that was one of the songs on the spin playlist <laughs> that's on my phone. It's a song where um, you ha you're like a little bit heavier on gear and you're working on your butt. Shocking, I know, based on the title of the song. But anyway, I thought you might enjoy that little tale and think about what's your most embarrassing song on your iPhone and tell me what it is. Some one of, Somebody in the meeting was like, oh, Britney Spears, and I'm like, girl, that's not embarrassing. I mean, I do have Britney Spears on my phone, but again, it's for my spin playlist. Um, I think it was embarrassing to her because she's like a heavy metal chick. So, And then she was talking about 80s music, and I'm like, don't even talk about 80s music now. Mm-mm-mm. On the voice, I'm like behind on the voice, but I think Monday's Monday's show, somebody did a Peter Gabriel song, and I was like, Peter Gabriel. Mm. I love me. I love me some Peter Gabriel. Mainly in her eyes, and did Peter Gabriel do The Book of Love? Yeah. The Book of Love. Ooh, that song gets me. All right, guys, I'm gonna eat my lunch because I don't want it to get cold, and I will chat with you later. Chat time! I'm done with work. It's 5.42-ish, 5.45, and I'm finished with work, and I don't have to work over the weekend. <laughs> that Friday feeling, though. You know what I mean? You know what I'm talking about? That Friday feeling, where it's Friday. Yes. And it's even like, magnified because I don't have to work over the weekend. I'm so excited. And I'm finished at a slightly decent time. Typically I, I'm done at four o'clock, but you know, that involved watching YouTube videos all day while working. So I'm proud of myself that I could be done by 5.40 on a Friday when I've been watching YouTubes. YouTubes. <laughs> been watching the YouTubes. Um, couple things I wanted to chat about. I'm very hungry. I mean, not very, very hungry, but I'm like real, I'm real hungry and I don't quite want to eat dinner right now. So I'm gonna have a snack, but I don't know what to have because I have nine points after dinner is tracked. So you know how I usually like my popcorn in the evenings but maybe I won't have it today because I might have my Diet Dr. Pepper. And that might just be a little bit too much sodium in the evening before weigh-in. I'm not getting crazy about tracking the sodium meal. I can't. I personally can't because I, I mean, you saw I had a meltdown about, <laughs> I had two meltdowns. I don't think I could take the pressure of calculating my sodium and like being really on top of it. I've never had like a blood pressure issue. Is that what it is related to? I'm pretty sure. Whatever. Anyway, I'm healthy all the way around other than my weight. So, well, my thyroid, but it's at the best, it's at the optimum level right now with my medication. Anyway, tangent. I plan to have uh, my Diet Dr. Pepper for dinner because I didn't have it for lunch. And... I only have two things of water left to drink, so I will get that done for sure. I should really fill up my fifth one very soon. Um, I think I'm gonna have my shrimp fried rice for dinner. 
So that's eight points, I'm pretty sure. So my whole, what all this is about is I have nine points left and I'm trying to think of what to use them on. I think I absolutely want my frozen chocolate thingy after dinner. So that's two points. So okay, we have seven points to play with. Maybe. Hmm. Maybe I will bump up my... Why am I so concerned? <laughs> Maybe I'll bump up my little egg thing to one point so that'll be, leave me six points for snacks. Dude, I'm fine. What am I so worried about? I could have, I'm kind of hungry right now, so I think I'm gonna have 11 of my Tostitos Baked Scoops for two points with my salsa. And then I should have four points. I mean, if I wanted my popcorn, I could have it later. Am I doing the math correctly? Either way, I'm fine. What the heck am I freaking out about? Um, not freaking out. Um, second thing I wanted to talk about. I want to be real with y'all. Pizza has power over me. Real pizza. You know, like, I, I don't even want to name the places you could get pizza because it will make me think about it. But pizza has power over me. So much power still that I... <laughs> Here's the backstory. Chad's parents are moving. They're moving to Florida. So they want to get rid of everything in their house. And they want us to pick anything that we want and his sister to pick anything that she wants. So they, they told Chad, you know, you can come over Friday and we'll order pizza or you can come over, what is going on? Or you can come over Saturday. And I was like, honey, I, I can't be with pizza right now. I can't be in the same room as pizza right now. I can't. I know I'm not strong enough for pizza. And I, I mean, yes, I could have one piece and I can have a salad or something like ridiculous, but no, like I know that if I get put in that situation, I'm not gonna have one piece of pizza and a salad. So, I said no, I don't wanna come over Friday. <laughs> and so I have made, I don't know, I set it up so that I could avoid pizza. I'm proud of myself that I recognized my issue and my weakness currently and that I, I, changed my situation so that I would not have to be in the same room as pizza. However, tomorrow, of course, is Saturday. I have my way in. I go to, you know, like our way, go grocery shopping, whatever. And we're supposed to go over there, um, I guess later in the day. I keep telling him, tell me what time so I know what time to be home, but he hasn't told me. So, Whatever. We're going to do what we're going to do tomorrow, okay? We're just going to... I know every time you look at this hand, another finger, <laughs> painted finger is missing. I'm going to redo this one tonight. Because um, I'm, I'm feeling the coral, guys. I'm just feeling it. I mean, coral is coral, so we're going to keep rocking the coral. Let's, let's just back up to our point. So tomorrow, we're supposed to go look at the stuff that we want. Although, I'm pretty sure... The stuff that I want is not going to be there anymore, but whatever. We're still going to look and see and visit because they've been out of town for months, so it'll be good to see them. Um, but I know that they're going to want to go out to dinner tomorrow. That's just how they are. They're going to want to go out to dinner tomorrow, and it's going to be some mom and pop place. It might be the same place that, remember like weeks ago, I went out with my sister-in-law and we, um, his sister on his side. Um, and we went to that mom and pop place and I had my buffalo chicken sandwich and whatever. I'm, it could be that because that's like really close to us. So I'm really nervous about that. So I told Chad, I was like, I, let's go Saturday, but I don't want to go out to dinner. Because I don't want to... I just don't want to have to deal with a mom and pop place and having to like figure out what to eat. If it was, If we knew we were going to that place, I would just have my buffalo chicken sandwich again. But I don't know, and my plan is still to get my Chipotle and bring it home. 
if for some reason that doesn't happen and they like I get the guilt and and I, we go out to dinner because you know the whole family's going out to dinner or something I mean I don't want to be the one person to be like no we can't go because Molly can't handle herself <laughs> that's not gonna happen so anyway my whole point in telling you this was I avoided pizza on purpose because I do not have the power yet over pizza I just know I don't I need to build more momentum before I get to that point we're having a chat man it's eight minutes sorry um, this just means that the end of the night one will be so much faster yay secondly I may go out to dinner tomorrow which is Saturday which is I'm slightly okay with if it happens because it's Saturday and that's the day I typically use my weeklies um, you know unless tomorrow I gain four pounds then we're gonna have a problem we're gonna have a real big problem yeah and I may get my little Starbucks drink tomorrow I may just do it because well I have a different logic for that which I'll share tomorrow if I do get my drink Anyway, it is what time? Eh, tell me. Fitbit. Almost six. I'm gonna have my 11 scoops, baked Tostitos scoops, or Tostitos baked scoops, with my salsa. That is two points. And then I will show you dinner when it's done. Bye. So I just had a total like, uh, you dumb girl moment. I was getting my shrimp out to thaw, which I hope you can hear what I'm saying, because it's thawing. And <laughs> for some reason, I measured two ounces, and I was like, no! That is not right! Because <laughs> it was like six shrimp. And I'm like, no. I know that I get more than that when I make shrimp. It's because I was supposed to be measuring six ounces. But I measured two, thinking I need two servings. You're silly, but I fixed it. She always keeps mommy company when she's cooking. Don't you? Don't you? Are you a little baby girl? <laughs> Behold the deliciousness. This is the same recipe I talked about the other day. It is one and a quarter cup of the Trader Joe's veggie fried rice frozen equals one cup cooked, so that is five smart points. There is two ounces of shrimp in there for one, oh no, my gosh, I did it again. <laughs> Oprah said I could have 30 shrimp. Six ounces of shrimp in there for one smart point, so that brings us up to six. There's a quarter cup of the Market Pantry, so Target brand egg substitute for zero points. Then I added in some white onion and I added in some broccoli. So we're still at six points, and then there is, there are, or there is, I don't know, four of the Trader Joe's chicken cilantro wontons for one point. So my shrimp fried rice, and there's so much of it, is seven smart points total, dude. I'm jazzed, I'm real excited, real, real excited, and I promise I will do a cook with me video when I get my situation under control. All right, I'm gonna eat this, bye. When you're on your I'm gonna eat my shrimp fried rice high and you're so excited and then you realize that you didn't put your Diet Dr. Pepper in the fridge. So you're drinking room temperature Diet Dr. Pepper. Okay. Sassy pants. Okay guys, so dinner was delicious, of course, and it was only seven smart points, so I ended up having, I don't know, points left over. <laughs> and so I did decide to have my popcorn. I had four cups of the Boom Chicka Pop for four smart points, and I'm gonna have my Weight Watchers frozen ice creamy deliciousness for two points. So I am actually ending the day with one point left over. So, and I'm doing fine on my water. I'm, on, I'm 